Hello guys, it's Brad and welcome to the channel, welcome to Radko Tarot. So this is going to be a, a weekly tarot reading for Cancer Star Sign or Cancer Sun, Cancer Moon and uh, Cancer Rising. <clears throat> and uh, as per usual, the, the weekly tarot reading takes place March 4th to March 10th, uh, 2019. And as per usual, while I'm shuffling the cards, uh, which are, by the way, the traditional reader way tarot deck, in this case, uh, the radiant version of it. Uh, I want to remind you once again that this is going to be a, a general reading for Cancer Star Sign, and uh, for that reason, it's going to resonate in a different level with every single different Cancers. But, uh, if you want uh, a more personal touch, or in other words, uh, that your personal situation to be analysed, through uh, tarot by me and to give you a prediction for the future, the potential of your situation and so on and so forth. Uh, you can check out my website which is listed down below in the description of this video and there basically you're gonna find a full list of my services for private readings and uh, their pricing as well. So that way you can uh, schedule a reading with me. Anyway, that set aside, let me cut the cards now and go into the uh, spread directly. The first card for you Cancers, which is going to be the topic of your week, that is going to be the Five of Pentacles, followed by the second card, which is the negative approach toward the situation. That is going to be the Nine of Swords. Third card that we do have, this is the positive approach toward the situation. That is going to be the Seven of Pentacles. And the last card that we do have, this is the final outcome of growth, uh, which is the Hierophant in this case. And the final, the final outcome of growth manifests itself only if you follow here the conditional cards or the guidance that Saro has for you. So once again, topic, five of pentacles, then it is uh, the uh, negative approach toward the situation that is going to be the nine of swords, uh, then it is the uh, positive approach toward the situation, Seven of Pentacles. And the last one that is going to be the Hierophant card, which is the outcome of growth should you follow the guidance of Tarot. So Cancers, uh, just a long story short, guys, just an overview over the cards. It does look like that that is going to be rather... No very pleasant week. I mean, I don't, I don't want to sugarcoat anything. And uh, this is at least according to these cards is that throughout the week, uh, multiple difficulties are going to arise for you in multiple fronts. So it's kind of like, uh, let's say you face difficulty into your career and simultaneously with that, you may face difficulty into your relationship life as well. What I mean is that these difficulties are not going to be concentrated in only one place, but they will be spread around, kind of like they're going to suffuse uh, your environment. The good thing is that these difficulties are not gonna be something that you can die from. It's not gonna be something overwhelming, just their quantity is going to be uh, overwhelming, not their quality. So there will be trifles, but many trifles, okay? So that is signified here by the Five of Pentacles, which is the topic pointing that there will be difficulties on many fronts. Small difficulties, but nonetheless difficulties on many fronts. Your career, your relationship, your um, social circle life, maybe in between you and your family, and so on and so forth. Now, the thing with the Five of Pentacles is to recognize a couple of things. First of all, we do have two people here struggling in the winter or being left out in the cold. Meaning, you're not alone in this, or you don't have to be alone in this, okay? So you can definitely search for help, you can definitely ask for help, or at the very least, you can cooperate with a person who is in the similar situation of yours, and you can help to each other. Second of all, with the Five of Pentacles, it's very important to um, keep your mind clear in a sense of that you should not fall into desperation, which is the second card here that it is the thing that you should not do. And it's very strongly suggests that you may fall into desperation, not from anything else, but from this, from the fact that these trifles are gonna be many of them, 
and you will not know where to start from. So that could point you to a, a place of desperation. The thing with the Five of Pentacles is that it, it does passes on and um, instead of you trying to neglect or pretend that the problems are not existent or that they are going to solve themselves on their own accord, instead of doing so, it will be best if you address those problems straight away in the moment that they arise and actually seek for a um, for an adequate resolution. Now, this seeking of an adequate resolution is going to take a bit of time. It's going to take a little, a little bit of a deliberation, maybe also a bit of a cooperation here and there with such a person. But my point here is, is that, yeah, the week is going to be dappled with difficulties, okay? But these difficulties can and should be overcome by you cancers. Basically, you should not give up. The accompanied card, this is going to be the Emperor and what this formation is, it's passive neutrals. And the Emperor here kind of like adds a positive shade. And unfortunately, however, it is about a um, prerequisite rather than something that you can do throughout the week. So uh, basically what the Emperor here says is that those who are organized, those who does everything by a plan, those who are keeping their things in check and those who actually kind of like have a, a structure in their lives are going to face those difficulty, difficulties in much more milder fashion than those who are scattered around and those who are basically going with the current without having any strict plans, any strict rules and any strict goals. So basically, the uh, the emperor here says that the more structured your life is, the better you are going to cope with the difficulties that are arising for you throughout the week. And the more disorganized your life is, uh, the more these difficulties are going to become plights for you. Can you organize your life? Yeah, but you got to be very swift about it. I mean, you, your organization, uh, it should be no more than a few hours, if you ask me, uh, as soon as the week starts, which is today, literally, because I am a bit late with, uh, with the weeklies. And I do apologize for that. But yeah, it, it basically does point that you need to start tackling with your responsibilities uh, because it's most likely where the, tri the these trifles are going to pop up from because you either overlooked an, an responsibility or you neglected it, uh, that responsibility, or you just simply uh, did not make the necessary performance in it. So this is as far as the topic goes, right? Difficult week for what it seems. Um, what I can give you here as an, an advice looking at these couple of cards is not to panic, okay? Because um, at the start, really, it may look like that the whole, it's not even the whole universe, but nothing really is going right for you. That, that could seem at least at the start. But should you not panic and should you try to exert better structure or rather like keeping everything under control at least attempting to keep everything under control you will see that you will be able to face the daily ups and downs uh, with much more ease not to mention that as well guys you will kind of like clear up a room for a little bit more personal freedom in there uh, and you will diminish the impact of those uh, minor problems petite problems but yet many problems to their bare minimum and some of you may not even notice that they have problems here and there because through the structure they had until this very moment in their life, they pretty much took the precautionary measures or what was necessary in order these uh, problems and these trifles not to impact their lives whatsoever. So what is the negative approach toward that situation? Nine of Swords, just like we said, panic and being afraid to address those issues, being afraid to seek for the root of the problem, being afraid to take on the responsibility. With the Nine of Swords, actually, if you give yourself away to the fear, it means that you will not be able to reach the root of the matter, meaning of which why these you are experiencing those difficulties. I, I don't want to say it because I know that many people that are watching this video will say, yeah, yeah, sure. But... Um, 
This reading shows that you are experiencing these difficulties because you made yourself experiencing in the sense of that you created for yourself those difficulties and now you basically need to cope through them. The accompanied card here, this is going to be the um, Seven of Cups. And what we have, it's a active neutrals and uh, these cards are asking you to be very grounded. And now at the start, as you panic, or if you give yourself away to the panic, uh, very crazy ideas of how you can cope with those difficulties are gonna come around to you. And at that point, as you are kind of like succumb to the panic itself, many of these crazy ideas will look rational and you may act upon one of them or maybe on multiple of them, right? And just so you find yourself very, very disappointed and being grounded by this disappointment. So um, what these cards are pointing uh, lastly, and that could also be seen in the next card, is that as soon as uh, you start experiencing difficulties, you should not be frantic about it. You should not try to... Uh, you can address the issue, you should address the issue straight away, recognize it, but that doesn't mean that you should take any actions toward it, not until those actions are very thoroughly thought through, very thoroughly analyzed, thoroughly planned. And only then, when you actually took everything under consideration, consider, uh, consideration every single variation of what could happen, you know, being taken under consideration, once again, structure, uh, only then you can pick up or choose the best possible approach toward uh, these difficulties. And these difficulties are gonna go just as far as they make you feel that your job is insecure or in a sense of that you may start thinking for yourself that you're gonna lose your job, you may start feeling insecure into your relationship as well because they, these difficulties are going to pollute your relationship also. Uh, there will be trifles, but as many trifles, you know, it's, it's kind of like, like they add up. That's my point. And that's why it will be uh, very potent for you cancers to approach the issue in a very calmly fashion, in a very milder fashion. Once again, instead of trying to uh, overcome it straight away with a frantic, ridiculous, preposterous idea, which is going to simply make you more disappointed that you will end up at the start of the week where tho when those difficulties are starting to uh, arise. And uh, the next card that we do have is the best possible approach to all the situations, Seven of Pentacles, and this is not to rush things, all right? Just wait a little bit and really analyze what you can do in general, you know, what your capabilities are and how you can alter the situation. That is because with the uh, Seven of Pentacles, it is very important that one should do only that what yields results, okay? You should, kind of like one should not do things just for the sake of doing them, but only when like I said, their actions are yielding results. As well as the Seven of Pentacles is pointing that um, our important events are just around the corner. So that means that at this moment, you may not have the means or the resources to tackle with those difficulties which are arising here and there, you know, with these trifles. But if you are patient enough and if you wait quietly in the shade, lower than the grass, and wait for your moment, that fateful event happens, giving you the means necessary for you to overcome those issues. And that mean could be, uh, once again, someone that is facing same kind of, uh, safe, same kind of difficulties, you can co-op together, and basically as you move together as a team, it will be much more easier for you to uh, kind of like overcome difficulties when, ha when you have someone to hope to kind of like guard your back or to to watch your back excuse me while moving alone and trying to uh, basically take a precautionary measure for everything around you the accompanied card of the seven of pentacles that is going to be the two of pentacles so we do have active um passive supporters excuse me and the two of pentacles adds a shade that you have to think for everything Basically, you cannot neglect one of those difficulties for the sake of other. You constantly need to keep all of them in your mind and being open 
to um, how can I place it being open for every mm, because this is the thing with the two of Pentacles uh, throughout the week there are also going to be a lot of, uh, of changes happening small changes which these problems are going to create and those changes can be used against the problems themselves it's kind of like fighting fire with fire all right uh, <clears throat> for example just to give you an example and i'm sorry if that's a stupid example let's say that it becomes a big problem you taking the kids off school because you do have something else important to do at home but your partner finds that as a problem and then you face another problem your car your car gets broken so you can use one of the problems to counter the other problem what my point here is, is that you need to be flexible you need to be very smart very analytic and somewhat clever it is not smart the word is clever you have to be very very clever if you want to juggle and mitigate with all of them so you can clear your environment from all those difficulties for throughout the week but yeah once again guys don't rush it because you may take some actions right now which seems which are seeming the best appropriate actions and yet they could involve a certain amount of risk and a couple of days from now uh, a new circumstances may arise which are giving you much better options available to tackle with the same difficulty what you need to know with the five of pentacles here is that these difficulties once again should be addressed but that doesn't mean that they should be resolved straight away as they are yet a petite uh, a petite issues so it is better to wait for the best appropriate time rather than to just do something and that's why only those who are patient and once again who are um, capable to exert structure in their uh, in their routine in their life and so on and so forth will be able flawlessly to uh, overcome this rather poignant week that uh, appears to happen and by the way having the two of pentacles here with the seven of pentacles whatever plans you had uh, for throughout the week maybe you may consider um, well, my point here is don't, be, don't get disappointed if you see that these plans cannot be executed for one or another reason. For example, you had plans for going on a vacation with your husband or with your wife and you face multiple difficulties at your career. You can't go on a vacation so, you, so for you to address the issues at your career. Don't feel disappointed of that. The issues and the problems that are to arise throughout the week are going with the highest priority. And once again, if you call up with someone to tackle with them, that is the best possible thing that you can do. But whatever you do, having someone or not having someone, you do not rush anything, okay? Just only act when you are 100% secure or sure that your actions are going to yield results. And with these cards, believe me, you will know. Basically, when you have in your mind what you are to do, you will not be afraid of the results. Basically, you will know that uh, it will have um, it will have the desired uh, results. For example, you had a fight with your uh, girlfriend. That is a, a problem, all right? And you want to text them straight away to either make them feel bad for the fight or try to make up for it, but you are not sure how they are going to react on that message. What that, te what that tells you according to the reading, do not text anything. Just let it go for now. In a couple of days, another sentence or another narrative could come to you much more plausible than the one that you had until this very moment. And when you think about this narrative, you know that there is only one way that your partner can react to it. And this is how you, uh, how you approach the matter. You send that narrative and voila, you got it. But once again, being frantic only is going to make the things worse. And the last card, which is about the final outcome of growth here, that is going to be the Hierophant, which pretty much points that everything is going to be sorted out. All these issues that you had are going to be sorted out in the framework of already existing convictions. So literally, you have persevered and not just persevered, but you have triumphed throughout the week. The means you needed at the start have been given to you throughout the week and you use them very well. And finally, everything 
sets uh, or everything settles as it is supposed to be. Your relationship is once again uh, stable, structured and full of mutual trust and mutual reliability. Your career seems very calm and kind of like the work here, uh, the work there doesn't seem despondent any longer. You do have people to talk to, you do have people to support you. And also with, uh, with the Hierophant, there will be as well people that are to give you counsel, how you can avoid placing yourself in the same kind of position as you experienced throughout this week. The accompanied card is the seven, is the eight of swords here to the, uh, to the Hierophant. We form passive uh, enemies and basically the shade of the card adds to the Hierophant is that you are going to realize that this shouldn't be that way. I mean, you could have, uh, you could have avoided all that, all these plights that you have to face. But nonetheless, the whole experience gives you a, a very valuable lesson for you to learn. And this lesson is that whatever happens, you do have a choice. You do have options available. And if it seems that you don't have any options available, this is because you are panicking and this is because you're not thinking straight. That's why in these kind of situations, uh, you got to hold your horses, calm down, take a break for a couple of days until the option available comes obvious to you. So it's, it, to me, it looks like uh, for you cancers, a week where you're gonna learn a valuable lesson, unfortunately the hard way, but nonetheless a valuable lesson. And uh, that concludes our reading, guys. So I hope you enjoyed it and you liked it. And once again, that was a general reading for Cancer Star Sign. And for that reason, it's going to resonate in a different level and in a different way with every single different cancer. If you want a more personal touch, meaning that's myself, to analyze your personal situation through tarot cards, you can check out my website, which is listed down below in the description of this video. And there you are going to find a full list of my services as well as their pricing. Rat signing out now. See you around. Bye.